Hi guys, welcome to the Mighty Ginkgo. My name is Zero, and I'll be your instructor through these tutorials. Um, I'll just give you a little bit of a heads up that I'm doing laundry in the background. Sorry, when you got as many cats as I do, they like to pee, and it decided to pee right as I was starting the previous tutorial. So I had to go throw that in the washing machine because woof. Okay, so I'm um, sorry about the last Sims tutorial I did. I was cranky and bitten, bitten bit by mosquitoes, so I was mad. Now it's a new day. The mosquitoes are gone. I had my tea and crackers and a nap, and I'm happy and cheerful. So you don't have to feel like, I'm sorry I asked you for that tutorial. <laughs> I didn't mean to anymore because here we go. We're all ready to go. In fact, Tony, let me go pause the washing machine real quick. I feel like it's about to go on the spin cycle and it's going to be like Alright, so let's just dive into this because we already took a while So you horny bastards, as soon as I posted that Sims thing Everybody was contacting me and asking me Well, Zero, just to ask, how do you extract animations from a package? And, um, majority of the packages they sent me as an example were dirty ones So, you horny little bastards, I'll show you how to extract animations from a package file, be it clean or dirty. So if you had all the materials from the last Sims tutorial, it's exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to show you how to extract it, and then if you want to know how to convert them to Second Life, all you have to do is just watch the previous Sims um, tutorial, and it's exactly the same thing. So first thing you want to do, oh wait, I forgot, we have, we're trying to get a format here. Okay guys, you guys ready? Let's start our tutorial. Let's go! <laughs> okay, so the first thing we want to do is have our package file. And you can download it from anywhere and, you know, it's got to have your animations in it, duh, because that's what you want. So we're going to just click on it. By default, when you install Sims Studio 4, it um, makes .package file. A default format so all you have to do is just click on it and it opens up sim studio for you so you don't have to try to figure out how to open it so when we um click our animation package it should start to look like this it's a female and then export and stuff like that and then when you go to export it you only get one animation I suppose that's fine if you only have one animation inside there but if it's an animation packet with lots of animations we got to do a little bit more work so we're going to go from the studio tab to the warehouse tab and you see it has a bunch of files inside here that says clip header and clip these are actually our animations what we want to do is export all of the animations at once so that we can export them one at a time later <laughs> so they are all inside of the package folder they're packaged in here and they can't be exported out this way so what we need to do is select them and export them out as an XML so to do that, you go over to the very top of it, top file here at the beginning, scroll on down to the bottom, hold down shift, and select the last um, cell here at the bottom so that everything is selected. When everything is selected, we're going to select batch export at the bottom. And you're going to create a new folder on your, I guess I want to say your desktop because it's easiest to access. So new folder. And I'm used to saying XML because of Second Life, but it's actually a binary file that we're going to save it as. So um, you can name it whatever. I would just leave it as export binary because it doesn't matter. It's going to take the name of the animations anyway. And then we're just going to hit save. And then you're going to wait for all that to fill up and save. When it's done, the folder will pop open and you'll see you'll have a whole bunch of files. Now they export in a .clip header and .clip file, as you can see here if you want to really doesn't matter but see it's like dot clip format clap hitter clap hitter and all the rest of the jazz that make up that package file but we don't need well we can't use it right there in its raw state we got to process it so let's go back into um, our clip editor so I'm gonna open up sim studio 4 again and then we're gonna open up another a new clip pack so new and we're going to save this package as our stuff. I don't even know where that saved. And then we're going to go to the warehouse and batch import. The more I think about this, the dumber it is. But that's how the guide explained it. So once it's um, 
open we want to navigate to the project folder that we just had and you want to press control a and select everything that's inside the folder and then you want to hit open it may give you an error but it's okay just close it and let it do its job and batch import i mean import import okay so it's got everything here then we're going to go over here to studio and we want to hit save wait for it wait for it okay package has been saved so once the package is saved we're just going to close it one more time and we're going to look for our our save the stuff we had and we're going to open it again so double click on it wait for it to work and now you see we have a new clip file but it has all these new panels on the side but they're empty don't worry that's a good sign so we're going to click over for where it says post pack to clips and you see now we have all these cells that have the animations from the thing, the um, the package we had in here. So since this is all dirty, I'm trying to look through this and find <laughs> the least dirty. Um, okay, yeah, that, that's not so terrible. So just like we did in the previous one, you're just going to select your animation that you want. And you want to make sure you got the right rig for it. We are not using a child rig on that. So adult female it is. And then we're going to hit export. And then it's going to save as a blend file, which we can use. Wait for it to load. Any minute now. There we go. And now when we go to open it. You see we have the animation she thinks now she's just dancing to like one of them old 90s songs you know i get so lonely <laughs> you know something like that nothing dirty going on <laughs> so now all you have to do is just go back into sim studio select your animation hit export select your animation hit export i don't know if you can export multiple ones at the same time let's see can you you can't select multiple ones, so I guess not. So I guess you guys are stuck exporting it one at a time, which is a lot easier than the other way we had to do that. But, you know, the uh, EA clips where we had to just go down a list and export, list and export. So you just click and export, click and export. Whew. So that's it. That's all there is to know about Sims exporting your animations. I hope this helps you guys out with your projects. And please stop sending me dirty things. Y'all know YouTube don't like me. <laughs> anyway, hope this helps out with your projects. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.